Okay, so I want to kind of talk to you a little bit about where I'm going with this channel and some of the recent developments that's occurred with projects that I've really liked, like Proof of Weekends, and how that's going to shape my next, you know, several videos. Just to give you kind of a heads up of what I'm working on and, and the direction that I'm going. Um, for the next, you know, probably five or ten videos, just depending on how many it takes to cover the content that I want to cover. So first things first, this channel is all about cryptocurrency mass adoption. I mean, I genuinely believe that cryptocurrency is, is the wave of the future, no question about it. And I talk about that often on this channel. The other thing that I um, this channel is about is I am a strong Bitcoin enthusiast over all of the cryptocurrency. I mean, it's 55% of the market cap. Um, even though more and more cryptocurrencies are coming out literally every day, this number grows by a few. Um, the Bitcoin dominance is at 55%. So, I mean, Bitcoin still is the big dog with all of its potential problems, potential scaling issues. Currently, there's nothing coming close to it. And I, I believe that the future of Bitcoin is bright. And I'm selling this channel oftentimes. I'm one of those people that are crazy enough to think that Bitcoin is going to go to $1 million per Bitcoin. And I believe that everybody's goal should be to own at least one Bitcoin. Uh, that, that's my opinion anyway. Um, and so with that being said, I'm also a strong fan of Ethereum. A strong fan of Ethereum, mainly because of the programming aspect. Now, obviously, Ethereum is not the only, not the only um, blockchain that you can program on. Most people know that you, there is. It is actually possible to program on Bitcoin. The meaning techn technologically, it's possible to be able to program on Bitcoin. But through Solidity and and whatnot, the programming language for Ethereum, there you know you can program on Ethereum. It's very fascinating. It's, it's interesting to say the least. Um, and that's where mostly I lie outside of some master node projects and things like that. So master nodes come into the space because I believe in part of stacking Bitcoin and Ethereum. I love the passive cryptocurrency projects that are out there. Things like proof of weekends, things like HDX 20. And then there's master nodes that I have and I use and I um, earn from as well. And so I, I love that passive component. And so that's really what's kind of led me to, and, and the passive component is extremely exciting, especially when we're in, in a bit of a bear market right now. Not a bit of, we're in a massive bear market. So the, the passive component's nice. So all along, you know, in, in my world, I'm, I'm buying a little Bitcoin. I'm earning Bitcoin. I'm using things like, you know, the CryptoTab browser. That's, um, there'll be a link below for the CryptoTab browser. But I, I use things like the CryptoTab browser, obviously. Um, and I, I love projects that operate on it you know, Ethereum where you can earn, you know, ERC-20 tokens like HDX-20, etc. However, recently there's been this announcement as I covered um, in this video, Proof of Weekend's mega news and announcements, and I'll put, the, if you want to watch this video, I'll put the card above if you haven't seen it yet. But it, it, the, the short version, this 26-minute video where I gave my thoughts, but the, the very short version is that the next project from the developers of Proof of Weekend's is this project going to be called Ghosted 3D. So part of Ghosted 3D is, uh, I mean, part of it, it's it's the Proof of Weekends 3, same developers that brought Proof of Weekends 3D, but they're, we don't know what Ghosted 3D means other than it's going to exist on the Tron network. So I have been researching Tron a little bit more. Now Tron is number 10 market cap. I've not paid any attention to Tron up to this point, none. And very few projects do I put a lot of attention to. Um, I typically look at things that have use cases that I'm fascinated by. Um, interestingly enough, I just haven't paid attention to Tron. I've just missed the boat on it up to this point. And as I've done research, there's things I like about it, things that I don't like about it. And I'll, I'll come out with separate videos related to that. Um, but one of the things that I like is decentralized web. They, they kind of, it's really, they're not really going, even though they say they're going for decentralized web, what I've found is it's really more of decentralized applications they're, they're basically re they're, they're they're not saying hey we want to create a decentralized internet i mean they're saying that but their actions are not saying that they're basically are operating as a blockchain that has various applications on the blockchain essentially they're another version of ethereum different technology and some pluses and some minuses for sure um so but it's fascinating there is a, a lot of i can see why team just may be looking at Tron. I don't know that I would be making the same decision if I was them, and I'll cover that 
um, in an upcoming video. I kind of think what they're looking to do is basically spread their eggs. I mean, I wouldn't be surprised at this point if they do end up using um, like EOS or EOS as well down the road. Um, and I think, Cord uh, is it Cordano that also has a decentralized web application type um, programmable blockchain? I'm not sure, I think so. But anyway, I, I wouldn't be surprised if they start doing that using some of the other platforms as well down the road. And I think the reason for that is because of the, basically, we we are so, those of us who are in this space right now, like it is so amazing what we're part of. I mean, there's so many people, I mean, it, it, when you are in this stuff every day, you're reading about it, you're watching videos like this one and other videos, then it's, you, there's a part of you that you, you begin to think that there's a lot more people aware of this space than there actually are. I mean, especially if you get outside of Bitcoin, a lots of people have heard of Bitcoin, but the vast majority has no, can't even attempt to explain what it is outside of some sort of digital money, but that's where it ends. Internet money, but that's where their explanation ends. And when you start talking about other altcoins like Ethereum, you know, XRP and, and down the line, they have no idea what that is. Most people don't even know that there's another, you know, blockchain cryptocurrency outside of Bitcoin, right? And quite honestly, I don't research all 2000 either. Um, you know, so I, I've in the past, I've just focused on Ethereum and Bitcoin primarily. And then I've looked at other use cases like decentralized web is one of my favorite use cases. But primarily I'm looking at MadeSafeCoin and I'm looking at Substratum, projects like that, which are really a long, long ways. All of them are a very long ways off from actually pulling off decentralized web and uh, decentralized internet, really. Um, the, However, Tron has got some interesting approaches and I'll cover this um, in another video. I'll do a recap of Tron. And what I plan to do for my next several videos is I'm going to, because I know that my channel, I do my best to try to cater to people that are very brand new, as well as those that have, have some knowledge, been around the space for a while. Um, but definitely the non, less, I should say less, less tech approach. You know, I'm definitely not the, the biggest tech guy. I do my best to learn. I'm not one of those guys that's going to go try to learn solidity, solidity programming have no desire to do that. It's not my strength. I don't want to spend the time doing it. Sure, I think it would be nice if I knew it um, and I understood it, but I'm just not going to spend my time doing that. I love to watch other people and hear about other people. I love when people in my comments tell me that they're doing it. I think that's phenomenal. And I think really and truly, um, that's the, really the best way to kind of research smart contracts and things like that to actually understand exactly what they mean um, and what they're, that they're, you know, are as solid as they appear to be or as you hope they are be able to do kind of your own personal audit. So here's where I'm planning to go though with my next several videos. I don't have any sort of um, exchanges that I've used up to this point. Primarily I've only used like Coinbase. Um, I think Cryptopia is the other one that I use and that's primarily for my masternode coins. Um, but I'm gonna, I've been researching larger exchanges and I've been thinking about doing this for a long time. I just haven't gotten around to doing it. But I'm obviously gonna be buying Tron. The main reason I'm gonna be buying Tron is just to see what um, Proof of Weak Hands developers, Team Just, is all about. I'm going to just follow them over there, check out that project. Don't know if the project's going to be good. Don't know if it's going to be bad. But I'm willing to hop in early uh, with a bit of a flyer and just kind of test it out. So that's what I'm going to be doing. So in my next several videos, I'm going to be talking about, you know, setting up, you know, an exchange if you've not done that before, where you can be able to do things like purchase Tron, how to do that, how to go from fiat or credit card to Tron, what's that process like? I'm gonna cover that. Um, and as well as I'm gonna do a video kind of review in Tron. When Ghost of 3D comes out, of course, I'll be able to review that as well. I'm gonna do a video, kind of doing a general overview of Tron. And then I'm also probably gonna do separate videos just to keep them relatively brief. I'm gonna do separate videos on what I like and what I don't like about Tron as well. So stay tuned for that. And, and just know that there'll be more videos coming out. So the videos, the next, you know, I don't know, probably five, three to five videos, maybe five videos, six videos, somewhere in there. The next several videos, um, I'm looking for them to be primarily educational as I'm learning or tutorial based as I'm learning um, and, and share with you what I already know and, and what I'm learning along in the process. And so I'm going to ask you to do two things as a, you know, a, a member of, of this community. A, if I share information that you disagree with, please let me know. I'd love to see different viewpoints. I'd love to hear different viewpoints, and I'd love to read about uh, those viewpoints. And I do my best 
even though we're all very biased in our own beliefs as we learn, but I do do my best to try to remain open-minded. Um, so if you disagree, or if you got any comments or whatever, feel free to comment on any of my videos. Also, um, if you if there's something you know, if you have resources you can share as I continue to learn uh, in this space and I continue to share, you're going to get an idea of what my knowledge base is as I'm sharing. And some of you are going to be learning. Look, if you're uh, you know you just kind of want to learn along with me, stay tuned. If you're not someone who does a lot of research on your own, and then obviously I'm going to I'm not going to say I'm going to outsource your research because you need to do your own research. But I'm, I'm going to give you, you know, at least some basics to start with, you know, so you, it, more of a, a passive research approach, if you will. And then you can learn and you can learn from my channel. Is this something that you want to do further research on or is it something you're just, you know, going to sit on the sidelines and, and kind of wait, sit and watch? To be honest with you, as fascinated as I think Tron is, if it wasn't for Team Just, I literally would not be investing in it. I would just do like like I currently don't invest in Substratum. Um, and I don't currently invest in MadeSafeCoin, but I kind of follow those projects periodically. Um, that's probably what I would be doing with Tron. But now I'm kind of glad that I've looked into Tron because it's either, it's it, listen, this is number 10 in this space. And I know out of 2010 sounds like it's high, but in my viewpoint, top one, top two, top three, that's where I want to be at. Top four, maybe, that's where I want to be at when I'm investing in projects heavily uh, typically and even with team just primarily I was okay investing in their token because it was an ERC 20 token and so I believed in what the project could do and I followed it for a little bit and I, I love the use case of the project and I actually covered that in another video of the video just before this one and I'll put a card above for that video as well when I start talking about some of the real world use cases that where news stories right now are coming out that a project like Proof of Weed Cans 3D and its concepts would actually work as dividend paying tokens would actually work very well in real world use cases that are getting talked about right now. And I'll put that, like I said, I'll put that video above it in the card so you can check it out. Um, but that's the direction that I'm going to be going. I'm going to be talking about Tron, researching Tron a little more. I'm going to be talking about setting up a, uh, oh, that's what I meant. I'm sitting here rambling. I meant to say, I'm going to be talking about setting up an exchange, setting up a Tron wallet as well. So I'm going to be talking a little bit about security in the process and keeping things secure along the way as well. Uh, so stay tuned for that. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the direction that this channel is going to go. And this isn't, obviously, I, I on my channel, I kind of move back and forth. It doesn't mean that I'm not going to, you know, take a break from these next few videos if, if there's you know incredible news that the market does something crazy we're going to be talking about that i just want you to kind of have a heads up i know for a fact my very next video is going to be talking about setting up a cryptocurrency exchange account so stay tuned for that thank you so much for watching